Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we'll try to briefly touch upon regular polygons and once we know the number of sides, how to find out the sum of interior angles and if we know the exterior angle, then how to find out the number of sides. So, we'll be basically touching upon taking different regular polygons and see what are the relationships we can establish between the number of sides and the interior angle and exterior angle. So, to do that, I have drawn here polygons. We have three sides, four sides, five sides and six sides. By the way, we know that a polygon is nothing but a simple closed curve uh, with line segments and uh, they don't meet with each, each other other than at the common end point, other than at the end points, that's nothing but the vertices, right? Okay. Now, these are all regular polygons. That means all the sides are equal. We have read that regular means all the sides are equal. Automatically, all the interior angles also will be equal, right? So, let's just try to observe little bit the pattern here. Based on that, we will try to derive the formulas to find out the sum of interior angles and how to find out the exterior angle of a n-sided polygon. Now, if you see here three sides, the sum of angles, let me just write it down here. I will say sum of angles, three sides, it's 180 degrees. We know that because sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and you know each angle is nothing but equal to 60 degrees. Now, let's move to the next one, four sides. We know, let us say it's a square, then you know that in each angle is 90 degrees. So, so 4 into 90, the sum of angles will be nothing but equal to 360 degrees. Okay, right. Now, what will be about the five sides? How much? it will be. So, how to proceed further? One thing I can see is if you follow the pattern, 180 plus 180 is 360. So, it should be 360 plus 180, 540. Then it should be 540 plus 180, 720. That's a pattern you are following that we are saying by intuition. But is there any way we can prove it? Yes. Is there any way we can prove it? That's what we will look into. Okay. Now, three sides is fine. What I will do now, this four sides quadrilateral, I will divide this into two triangles. If I divide that into two triangles, I will have one triangle and I will have two triangles. So, you can see that if I have two triangles, the sum is nothing but equal to 2 into 180. Similarly, what I can do? I can go to five sides, that is nothing but we call it as a pentagon. If I can go to the pentagon and I can take a vertex and join to or if I draw all the diagonals from that, we know diagonal means whenever you are not, when you are joining the opposite side. Okay, right. How many triangles we can make here? We can see that I can make three triangles, one, two, and 3. We can see that I can make 3 triangles. So, 3 triangles that means 3 into 180 nothing but equal to 540. So, 5 sides it is nothing but equal to 540 because this is 1 into 180. This is 2 into 180 and this is 3 into 180. So, by going by this, you can easily say that 6 sides should be 720 and also it is nothing but equal to 4 into 180 because we can we can divide this into 4 triangles. Let us look at that. Okay. Now, this is my adjacent side. This is my first diagonal. Then this is second diagonal and this is third diagonal. So, if now how many triangles I can make here? I can make 1, 2, 3 and 4. Nothing but I can make 4 triangles. 1 here, 2 here, 3 here, 
and 4 here that is nothing but equal to 4 into 180 720. So, what we can we can see some pattern here right as the number of sides are increase, increasing you are adding the sum of angles by 180 degrees because you are able to make one more triangle you are able to make one more triangle divide that into one more additional triangle which is giving you one more 180 degrees now how can we how many we will do like this we should be able to generalize this right that's why let us see what is the pattern now let us try to identify the pattern so we see that for three sides it's 180 nothing but can i say 3 minus 2 into 180 where three sides 3 minus 2 into 180 similarly here i can see 4 minus 2 into 180 similarly i can see here 5 minus 2 into 180 I can see here 6 minus 2 into 180. So, can I safely go ahead and say if there are n sides, then sum of the angles of n sides is nothing but equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees or you can also say that as 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees. This is the formula for all the sum of the angles of a n sided polygon okay now let's look into this is the one formula we have found the formula is sum of angles of a interior angles of a polygon of n sides is nothing but equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees that's perfectly fine now let us look into exterior angle how to find out the relation between exterior angle and number of sides okay right for that what we will do we we can see here exterior angle is nothing but exterior angle is nothing but extension of one side if you produce one side extend it in one direction and the angle it makes with the extension makes with the other side is nothing but called as the exterior angle and we know that they both make linear pair so can i say can i say go ahead and say that interior angle plus exterior angle is always equal to 180 degrees because they make a linear pair so i can say interior angle angle plus exterior angle of a n sided polygon is any n any polygon is nothing but equal to 180 degrees because they make a linear pair this is the second observation what we have okay another thing you can see the interior angle as the sides are increasing the interior angle is going on increasing now you can see when it is three sides it's a 60 degrees when it is four sides it's 90 degrees when it is five sides if you ch calculate this this is 108 degrees how can we do that we know that the total sum of angles equal to 540 degrees so I can go ahead and say interior angle interior angle is nothing but equal to 180 by 3 equal to 60 360 by 4 equal to 90 here it is 540 divided by 5 equal to 108 here and 720 divided by 6 equal to 120 degrees here so you can see that the interior angle is going on increasing as you move from three sides to six sides now what happens when it becomes infinitely large number of sides you will be forming a circle because see here you are starting from 60 and you are going towards 90 108 120 the ultimate you can achieve is up to 180 degrees when it will become straight line so little bit lesser than that 179 something like that that is when you can see that if it becomes very small sides of e almost equal to almost equal to 180 degrees that is when you will be forming the 
circle so that's what you can observe one observation we see is that the interior angles are increasing as we increase the number of sides so on the vice versa opposite side we see that exterior angles are going on reducing because if this is 108 according to this formula what will be my exterior angles let's write it down what will be my exterior angles i will write down here exterior angle exterior angle in this case is 120 degrees because it's nothing but equal to 180 minus 60 that's equal to 120 here we have in the next case four sides we have exterior angle is nothing but equal to 180 minus 90 equal to 90 degrees and when you have five sides it's nothing but equal to 180 minus 108 equal to 72 degrees so you can see that the interior angle is going on increasing and exterior angle is reducing so you can see here it's again for the six sides 180 minus 120 that's equal to six side 60 degrees okay now what's happening if i multiply this with the number of sides if i multiply the exterior angle with the number of sides you can see that it's always equivalent to 360 degrees you can see that 120 into 3 is 360 90 into 4 is 360 72 into 5 is 360 60 into 6 is 360 so we can go ahead and give one important point to be observed we can write it here we can say that sum of exterior angles is always equal to 360 degrees so what you can say by that if sum of exterior angles equal to 360 degrees you know each exterior angle is same so you can say that exterior angle is nothing but equal to 360 degrees divided by number of sides so that will be the another equation what we can get what is that exterior angle is nothing but equal to 360 degrees divided by number of sides because we know all exterior angles add up to 360 but each exterior angle into number of sides will give you the sum of all exterior angles that's nothing but equal to number of sides or you can say 360 by n 360 degrees by n where n is number of sides so we can see some important observations which will be very useful for us when solving the problems three equations basically we have let me just look at them first thing interior angle plus exterior angle equal to 180 degrees this is number one next the sum of interior angles of a polygon is nothing but equal to n minus 2 into 180 that is nothing but number two and the third one is nothing but exterior angle of a polygon is nothing but equal to 360 degrees by number of sides or number of sides is nothing but equal to 360 degrees by exterior angle so we can leverage these formulas whatever we have obtained to solve the problems related to regular polygons in the next session we'll try to do couple of examples applying these formulas Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next session.